Hello everybody. Welcome you all at Learning is Fun with Pragya Paramita. I am again with you with another video lesson and today's lesson is about English idiom. I am going to tell you some very important idioms which you are going to use in your daily conversation in any informal situation. So, first of all, we have to know what is an idiom. Idioms are actually the sentence or phrases which are used in a different sense beyond their literal meaning. So, in other words, you can say it is a mode of figurative language where you can say something but you can mean the other thing. So, it is a very important topic both for conversation and in any sort of examination in your life that is a competitive examination. You may find sometimes this uh, kind of idioms are asked there. So, this is a very vital lesson. So, stay with me till the end to see what are there. So, the first idiom for you that is straight from the horse's mouth. What is the meaning of that idiom? First of all, we have to know that and then I am going to tell you how it is originated the so or the source of that idiom. And finally, I am going to giving you some example with pictures so that you can understand and remember that idiom very carefully. Okay, so let's see. So, the meaning of that idiom is getting information the, from the most reliable source. That is when you are talking about some information uh, you get from, uh, from most reliable source. You can say that I got it right from the horse's mouth. So, there is a story behind it. Why uh, this idiom and how this idiom uh, came to know or came in use that is in uh, it is used right from the 19th century when buyer could examine uh, a horse by seeing their teeth that is uh, from by examining their teeth that is from the mouth so uh, you can say that what you heard is true i know since i heard it straight from the horse's mouth that means i am uh, very uh, confident about the news because i am getting uh, this news from a very reliable source so wh why you are talking about that you are very much confident or you are very much uh, sure about the news because you are getting that news from a reliable source you can say that i am getting it right from the horse's mouth and the next idiom for you let the cat out of the bag this is a very interesting uh, idiom in english so what is the meaning it means that to uh, reveal something or mistakenly reveal some secret and uh, it is uh, there is a very interesting story behind it actually uh, this is uh, come to use this idiom right from the 17th century where uh, a common street for including behind the story or uh, behind this use of this type of idiom where uh, the buyers or someone the replacing uh, the valuable pig with the less important or less valuable cat and selling them in bags so uh, it means that uh, some uh, fault or some uh, secret is revealing mistakenly so uh, my boss did not let the cat out of the bag about the deal until all the relevant contracts were signed so here you find there is a cunning intention something i suppressed uh, so cunningly that but at the end it can't be uh, suppressed so here another example for you we have organized a surprise party for her so don't let the cat out of the bag so uh, the idiom actually means uh, don't reveal or uh, to mistakenly reveal a secret that is means uh, you can use that idiom let the cat out of the bag now the next idiom for you that is heat the hay what is the meaning of that idiom for you that is uh, it is a very common idiom and it is a very useful idiom for your daily life or daily conversation it means to go to bed or go to sleep uh, instead of saying that you can say that heat the hay 
and it is originated in 1930s and here i am very tired so i guess i hear the hey now that means i am very tired so i need to sleep now now the next idiom for you that is wolf uh, in sheep clothing this is again a very vital and very important idiom and the meaning is that in uh, when someone is pretending something but actually he is not uh, that kind of person or that kind of thing you can say that see he is a man uh, he is a wolf in uh, sheep clothing that means someone who is pretending to be something they are not usually to the uh, detriment of other that is they are pretending something other so uh, this is a very common and very useful um, thing useful idiom that is originated in sermon by jesus recorded in uh, christian new testament so you can understand that it is a very commonly used idiom right from the classical era of english language and so that and here are the example for you uh, here be uh, be very careful who you allow to get uh, close to you that means someone pretend something but they are not actually like that so you have to say that uh, the person uh, wolf in sheep's clothing here i always thought strangers were wolf uh, in sheep's clothing but i sadly learned uh, near ones can also be troublemakers so you can understand the meaning of that uh, idiom that you can't uh, trust anybody you can you have to be very careful while trusting other so you can say that the wolf in sheep's clothing now uh, this another example or another useful idiom for you that is flying off the handle this is a very important and what is the meaning of that idiom uh, that is suddenly you become very enraged very angry that is the meaning of that idiom and where it is come from it is said to come from poorly made axes of 18th century that would literally detach from the handle so if you are cooking something and uh, you just take uh, take that thing that pan from the oven or somewhere and your handle the handle of the pan detach there how do you feel you feel in rag do you feel very disturbed and angry that is the meaning the flying of the handle the idiom uh, may mean that thing and here are the example uh, to get very angry and maybe violent your expression may be violent so, so if someone is very getting very angry or become very violent you can express that person like that flying off the handle he is uh, flying off the handle so here are the example for you again there is no need to fly off the handle uh, we can discuss the, this rationally to sort out the matter peacefully so here you find that when you are talking uh, something someone is very enraged someone is very angry you can express the uh, that person or you can describe that person by this idiom that is flying off the handle okay so now uh, the next idiom for you that is up in the air when something is undecided and you don't know what is going on and uh, unresolved you can say that that particular decision or particular thing or you can say that i am in up in air my plan is up in the air that means that is un uh, undecided or unresolved so uh, this phrase refers to unsettled particles or matter or as something that is floating in the air and it is used since 1990s that is uh, 900 19th century and uh, the examples for you uh, here our vacation plan are still up in the air as we keep differing our uh, over our choice of location that is we can't decide where to go for vacation that is why or that's why our plan for the vacation is still up in the air you can explain that thing in that way or you can explain that uh, you're feeling when you are undecided about something uh, by saying that up in the air.
now cost and arm and the leg these are very vital and important thing for nowadays because everything gone very expensive for you we can't afford everything we are talking about we just plan to do that thing or plan to do buy something but at that moment we find this is very costly i can't so you can say that instead of i can't buy that thing you can say that cost and arm and leg so now the meaning for you extremely expensive when you are talking about something is exp extremely expensive you can say cost and arm and leg so now the story behind this idiom originated from 18th century painting uh, as famous people like george washington uh, would have their portraits done without other limb because it is presumed that if they are showing their limbs the painting may cost much so this is the idiom the meaning of that idiom and the source of that idiom now this dress is really nice and it cost me an arm and leg so i can't afford the, that dress because it is very costly so instead of saying costly you can say that cost an arm and leg now piece of cake another important idiom for you and this is uh, very useful and widely used in english language in in type of conversation or anywhere so if you are talking about very easy task you don't say that uh, it, the, you can say that instead of saying very it is very easy to, uh, task you can say that the task is a piece of cake for me so you can say that uh, this thing again so the meaning of that idiom is very easy uh, task or very easy thing and uh, it is believed that this phrase was invented in uh, 1870s during slavery in the southern uh, states of america so uh, here you find the picture and it is a piece of cake because two and two make four everybody knew that uh, they said the uh, taste would be difficult but it was a piece of cake i will pass without any problem at all so when you were thinking about something it may be difficult but you find that it is a piece of cake because it is so easy for you to do now the next idiom for you save the day this is another important uh, idiom and this is a very uh, very useful idiom so the meaning of that idiom is to prevent a disaster or misfortune so when we are talking about uh, something uh, you are talking about some disaster or some misfortune uh, you just say save the day and here uh, it was first recorded in 1838 now here is the example for you the team seems to be uh, heading for disaster until a late goal save the day so you understand that the team may be uh, def uh, may be defeated for in the match but the last goal save the day that means the last goal or the late goal uh, secure their win so uh, they are they can avoid their misfortune so save the day means uh, to uh, prevent a disaster or misfortune here after my surgery my neighbor saved the day by cooking a number of meals for my family here you find where you were in a crash situation when you were in a very difficult situation and someone helped you or something helped your uh, situation to become very normal so you can say that save the day instead of uh, saying directly you can say so when you are talking about some indirect uh, mode of narration you are not directly talking about uh, something so you can use this figurative language and you can use that this type of idiom in your daily conversation also i hope you like this video and here another okay not but the least here is another example for you bite the bullet so what is the meaning of that idiom that is uh, to perform form of painful tax or endure an unpleasant situation here this is the meaning uh, to uh, an in 80s patient would literally buy it on a bullet to cope up with the pain of having surgery before anesthesia was very common so here are the 
uh, example for you here you find someone is uh, very upset because i know you are upset selling our farm but times are tough uh, we have to bite the bullet so when you are talking about that something is very uh, unendurable very painful for you when you have to cope up with that you can say that bite the bullet so mary has to learn to bite the bullet and face her situation without any fear so here you find the proper use of these idioms so these are the uh, meaning of this idiom so you can use this idiom in any uh, short of situation so i hope you understand and if you like this video if you have any queries please do, do not forget to comment in the comment section so no more today thank you for listening and bye bye